So there is this epidemic going on uh-huh. of people having this first date entitlement that I'm sick of. <laughs> At first it was yeah. the cheesecake girl. Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this car. Mm-mm. 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 Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? (laughs) You remember that story? Yeah. And then there's the 48 Oyster Girl. Uh Did you see that one? It sounds familiar. Okay, let me show you. I leaked with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends. This nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself. Why I didn't block him? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. But today I was bored and I had time. Oh, so he texted me like, can me for drinks? And I'm like, yeah, meet me here. They got the best fucking oysters in Atlanta, like hands down. So I'm like, yeah, so I can get some content. Come on. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm going to eat. And I was coming anyway. But I ain't going to lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that. But I did do all that. That was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So after that. I can't oh, tell that's this. Crazy. Mm, what's next? What I'm about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. And the crab cakes, everything was so good. Ten, ten, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he's going to the bathroom and never come? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? That's your goof ass good. <laughs> Silly. Okay. I was ho- I was hoping it ended like that. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I would have did. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> He was out of there. So there's there's now this list, right, of places that women supposedly refuse to go to. Now, I don't know who wrote this list or created it, but it went viral on TikTok. Mm -hmm. The first thing on that list, this list, is Cheesecake Factory. (laughs) I don't have no issue with Cheesecake Factory. I like Cheesecake Factory. They got some big old plates. Cheesecake Factory bus. Right, we ain't been there in a long time. We've never been to Cheesecake Factory together. You've never took me to Cheesecake Factory. Look, don't turn this into <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> you never took me. We've never been to Cheesecake Factory together. We never together. been to Cheesecake Factory together. No, not that I can remember or recall. Because it was so long ago. No, we've never, we'd, we've never been. Yeah, we have. No. We had to went no. to Cheesecake Factory. Second We place. never went to the one at the Grove? <laughs> no. We never went to the one at, uh... We've never went to any of them. I don't believe that. I know it. Second on the we list. We never ordered from Come them. on! Second <laughs> second on the list. Applebee's. We don't really have a lot of Applebee's around here. I haven't been to Applebee's. Go to Applebee's. But I'm not mad. But I'm not mad. If someone took an Applebee's on the first day, I'd be happy. Oh, I did. I remember. So it has been a long time. But I do remember they had this turtle brownie that I used to love. It was good. It was a dessert. Applebee's? Yeah, but... I wouldn't be mad if someone took me to Applebee's on the first date. For three is it's what? Chili's. Okay. I don't care. Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies. We went to the movies on, oh wait, no, it wasn't on our first date. It was our second date. I don't care about going to the movies. You can't go to the movies? Okay, here's the thing though. I think, I don't think, yeah, I don't know who made this list. But the movies, I don't think that's bad. 
It's only bad if it's only the movies. I think yeah, there has to like, be a follow up, movie, this, and then a, a dinner, so you can you, talk. No, you get a dinner, go to the movies, and you go do some activities after. Yeah, like, I agree, but like, I do think movies. I wouldn't be I mad. I wouldn't make a whole deal about I'm someone taking me to the movies, but I enjoy the movies. But you can't really get I'm to happy. know somebody. I ain't single, we can't keep talking over each other. Okay. Next. <laughs> Your house. I think, okay, so this is the first place on the list that I do agree with. On a first... <laughs> on a first date, I don't want to be invited to somebody's house. But one, I don't feel very comfortable, I, you know, because the first date, I don't even know you like that. Yeah, we've probably been talking for a little bit, but I don't really know you like that. And I do think it's lazy. Oh, come to my house. I think I think that is a lame first date. But it all depends, though. On what? Y'all can't even say that's a lame date. I do. You pull up to a nigga crib and crib is crazy. Now he didn't order a goddamn band and all types of shit to be at the crib. He didn't order y'all massages and shit. Like, how you gonna say that a crib is a bad place? Like, you don't know what he got planned at the crib. You have to think about it. You don't know what type of crib it is. You don't know none of that. That's right. why all this shit but is stupid. No, it's not stupid. Because you also have to be considerate and see where the woman is coming from. You're inviting me to you, to your no, place. I get like, it. There's yeah. no, a woman's comfortability. You know what I mean? Right. No, like, I understand that. So the safety of a woman is my Yeah, opinion. no, I agree. I agree with that for sure. Maybe the third day someone's house because now, you know, we've gotten to know each other. I'm a little bit familiar. Right. But on a first day, I don't think going to someone's house. But what if you having like some type of like party where there's people there and stuff? Then that's different. Okay. That's different. If there's gonna be That's other... what I'm saying, situations is like Okay, so let me clarify. If if it's a first date and someone invites you to their house and to your knowledge it's just gonna be you and that person, I don't think that's the smartest or the safest. But right. if he's like, you know, it's gonna be a bunch of people, um, yeah. guys and girls. Right. Right. I mean, even then, you still got to be careful because a bunch of people is a bunch of guys. And, you yeah, know what I mean? No, you just got to no, be aware of your surroundings yeah. and be familiar with what you're going to be entering. I mean, any any right guy is not going to put her in a situation where she don't feel comfortable. Right, but that's the point. We don't know if this is going to be a right guy because it's a first date. Okay. Anyway, okay, so the next on the list is any fast food chain. Have you ever taken somebody to fast food on a fast food date for a first date? No, not that I remember. I mean, it's been so long ago. I know. I wouldn't be mad at a fast food date. The only thing is, I think I should, or the girl should be given, a guy or girl, whoever's taking out who, a heads up. Just so the person doesn't waste an outfit. Like, let me know. You don't have to tell me we're going to fast food. Just tell me, like, oh, um, just just comfortably yeah. or just casually. Yeah. So I know I'm not wasting an outfit. Okay. That's how the deal. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings. Isn't that fast food? Buffalo Wild Wings not fast food? Buffalo Wild Wings is, like, it's like an apple. I put it with, like, Applebee's and chilies and all that shit, personally. I'm not mad at Buffalo Wild Wings. I like them pepper wings. Buffalo Wild Wings, you can watch sports at Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. That's, that'll be a fun first date. You like watching sports? I, <laughs> some sports. Okay. I, I like the environment of yeah. watching sports. Like, I love people come, people are laughing, people are yelling in a good way. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are fighting in a good way. Fight. I like that. Wing stop? That's just... Oh, wait, I got confused. I confused Buffalo Wild Wings with wing stop. I like wing stops. Wingstop, lemon pepper. But Wingstop is more of like a fat, like Buffalo Wild Wings would be a better day spot than if you're gonna do that. Would be a better day spot than um, Wingstop because Wingstop is just like a little. Wingstop is more like fast food, right? You it know is. what I'm saying? Versus Buffalo Wild Wings is actually like a place you an can environment sit down. you can sit down, a little ambiance. It's like a sports bar type ambiance. Uh, yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I, yeah, I got Wingstop and Buffalo Wild Wings mixed up. Yeah, I don't even think I've ever noticed. But a lot of the area. I wouldn't I wouldn't take no first date to none of these places though. Okay, but but Cheesecake Factory may be the only spot that's like it would depend on the woman and like what 
what's your objective really i don't have no objective i think that no i mean like from for the guy or like what oh, what my right objective up. is like you know what i'm saying I am i really trying saying. to impress her or am i just like that's true but wouldn't that apply to all these places or are you you know mm, chili's applebee's <laughs> I mean, but the point is, I don't think this, I don't think there should be a list. But, least, and this, also, this is... also, also, it depends on where you, like, it, it depends on a lot of things, like, where you at? What city you in? Are you in a city? Are you in a small town? Are you in a place that has, like, other, like, four or five star restaurants that you can right. actually go that to? That is and true. Indulge what's in? available? It's like, what's available? That's know? very true. Entitlement is crazy. That's what I'm saying. Red Lobster is next on the list. I'm not mad at Red Lobster. They got some good, what is it, the cheesy butter biscuits? Or butter biscuits? Or cheesy. No, the cheesy biscuits. Those are good. I like that at Red Lobster. Yeah, cheddar. I want to be mad. The cheddar biscuits. Yeah. I want to be mad. No. No. Next, a buffet. First of all, I'm in heaven. You take, you take me to a buffet on the first date. That's like going to get Korean barbecue. You can't go get Korean barbecue Ooh, on the first date. Oh, I love it. You Korean can barbecue talk. is all you can eat. That's that's basically a buffet. Like, yeah, I like a buffet. That's crazy. I'm I going have... to Korean barbecue on the first date for sure. Yeah, but is Korean barbecue considered a buffet? No, I think they're talking like a buffet, like cafeteria it's all style you can buffet. Eat, though. It's different. KBBQ is different than it's all you can eat, a buffet. They're talking like cafeteria style buffet. Which I'm. Which is some busing cafeteria, Listen. some seafood, and some. I said what I said. I said what I said. Take me to a buffet and I'm I'm loving it. I hop. I'm not mad at I hop. I like breakfast, so I can eat breakfast, morning, lunch, dinner. Biggest difference. <laughs> um. <laughs> she's a fat ass at heart, you know. So. <laughs> She'll eat and take anything. Huh? Nobody, huh? Did you say? I said I love your heart. <laughs> Denny's. Denny's. I hope Denny's one of the same. I'm not mad with either. Church? I think church should be such a cute first date as long as you go somewhere afterwards so you can talk. Yeah. But I think that would say a lot about that would person. That would say a lot about a person. Church on the first day. Yeah. I think it would it would kind of tell you what maybe their intention is like okay um, this is something serious maybe yeah that would throw them off that actually is a really good first date yeah, for men to take them on actually it's gonna be very interesting because off jump you gonna know where they stand like what they you know what I'm saying it's like because if you got a problem with going to church on then it's like take me to church <laughs> it's like you need to leave their ass at church Ooh. the gym. I think I think that depends on what. Okay. The gym was cool. But I think it depends on who you've been talking to. If, if you guys pre, if you guys are both into fitness, cool. Yeah, y'all might have met at the gym or something. I don't know. Right. Or if, if they've been talking and you know that you both like to work out, I think that's a great first date. But yeah, you could go do a class. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I signed us up for this class. Da, da, da. That would be fun. But I think the exception would be if you guys never spoke about working out. And maybe the person you're taking out on a date is slightly heavier set. Maybe they would feel some type of way. So I think there has to be oh, a yeah. reason to going. It has to make sense. Right. You know what I mean? Starbucks. I'm not mad at Starbucks. Hey, we can go to Starbucks. We can go. I like a coffee date or a, a matcha date. You can get matcha at Starbucks. Yeah. It ain't the best. A little coffee, a little cafe. Coffee day, we already said that. I'm not mad at ice cream day. Ice cream day is so cute. Ice cream is good. Just go on an ice cream day. Family function. Why you can't go on a family? Okay, okay. I see both sides to family function. One, it could be a good thing because I I think if someone is inviting you. A, it could be too soon meeting the family. Yes. So that was my second point. The first point is if someone is invited to their, their family, y'all must have some really good conversation because that's a big move, meeting somebody's family. But then two, it could yeah. be too soon. This is a first date. Like that would make me, I think, it's uncomfortable. Put a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. It's like, the I- The family gonna be like, oh, who is this? Is this? Oh, that's who you taught. Yeah. That would be, that would be super awkward. That's if it's super like, awkward. Oh, is this who you taught us about? Da, da, da. And y'all only talk for mm. a short amount of time. Right. It's already a lot meeting that one person for the first time. Imagine meeting 30 people for yeah. the first time. I'll be like, 
I might clam up, you know. But then again, some families be busting, like, it be fun, yeah, it so just, it's like. It depends. I don't think I would want. I wouldn't go, put nobody in that yeah, situation. I wouldn't want that for a first date. So I agree with that one. A movie night. We're talking about movie night. Oh, that's like a Netflix and chill. I don't think it should be a Netflix and chill on the first date. Bowling. I love bowling. Bowling's fun. Who doesn't want to go bowling on a first date? Get your ass fired up. Yeah. Who? Get your ass fired up. Who? <laughs> you. you know what they call me? What? Miss 300. <laughs> um, Nightclub. <laughs> Gang, gang. What's up? Nightclub for a first date. Hmm. I agree with this too. I'm not really. I probably met at the club. That's true. <gasps> we met at the club. <gasps> we. Oh no, we didn't have our. We met at the club, but we didn't have our first date at the club. But we did have our first date. The first day that we met. Was after, after the, the club. After the club. <laughs> hookah bar. I'm not mad at a hookah bar first date. I don't do hookah. Yeah, I don't do hookah. But I used to do hookah, and hookah. I wouldn't be mad if someone... See, some of, some of these things is like, it can all be lined up to make sense. Like, okay, you go here, eat, and you go get you some hookah, and then you, mm. or you go bowling, and you go get you some hookah. Like, it can all be lined... I don't know. Yeah, some of these are just It can be lined up to be a real fun date. Like I agree. A bar for just... It just can't be boring. Like, a bar for just drinks? It's a bar. If y'all both like to drink, what's wrong with that? Yeah. Waffle House, like I said, I love me some breakfast, so take me to Waffle House. I'll eat some waffles, chicken and waffles. Chicken, chicken, and chicken. A sporty event? That would be fun. A sporting event? Yeah, to go watch it. They said, oh my gosh. <laughs> who? I don't know who made this list. I know. Sorry, I know. Sporting event. This is like, this why society is the way it is. Can't do Today. nothing. Can't go, can't go nowhere. <laughs> and I feel bad for the single. I feel bad for all the single women out there with this list. Maybe that's why they. That's single. why you single. Mom and pop restaurant. I like a mom and mom pop and restaurant. Mom and pop restaurants be busting. Uh, yeah. Take me. I love a mom and what? pop restaurant. What? And then the last one is food truck. Say less. They must have made this list just to get engagement on it. Possibly. Yeah. You know, but it went viral. Like, yeah, like, just to get in. Because listen to the things that's on the list, of course, it's going to go viral because people going to be like, what? You can't go here. You can't. That just creates engagements. People going to leave comments. That's all that does. Like, this list is just, it's horrible. So where are you supposed to go? You can't go nowhere. It's like, it started off good, except no. the Cheesecake Factory. There's only a, there were but, only a few things on the list where I agree with that. It was somebody's house and a family function. Yeah. That was it. Well, the Applebee's, the Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, your house. But I'm saying as this is saying that women absolutely refuse. As a woman, I disagree. I don't. Oh, okay, you yeah. can take. I don't. I don't mind for a first date because the point, what you, the only thing you should expect on a first date. Your skin looks real good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. The only thing that you should expect on a first date is to get to know each other, mm -hmm. right? You shouldn't expect to be taken somewhere fancy. Now, granted, that would be appreciated, but I'm not going to make a big old fuss because you didn't take me where, I don't know, I wanted. I, I don't know. I just... I'm the type of person, I'm happy with almost anything as long as I you feel... You should be grateful for anything. <laughs> That's true. That you not even paying for. Ooh. Like... You're right. And you ooh. never know. The first date is two people getting to know each other. So it's not just the woman looking for somebody, but the man is also looking for somebody. So let's just say he is this rich guy and he wants to make sure that this person is not out to get them for his money. So yeah. maybe he's like testing the water. Like, you know what? Let me see how she acts with me taking her to Chile. But the point is, you, you're trying to get to know the other person. Yeah, and it ain't about like... The first, I think... Showing up. Yeah, it's not about... Exactly. The first day is not about showing out. It can be. It can it be. Can if, that's, be. if that's what you want, that's what you want. As a man, if that's what you're trying to impress, like if that's how you're trying to... Get her, just know that that's what it's going to be yeah. from there on out. Like, Yeah. yeah. 
So you go on a first date, regardless of where it is. Um, you try to get to know them. Hopefully, a good first date. You have great conversation, which then leads to the second date. And then from the second date, you, you start to see a little bit more uh what this person is about you know then maybe you can see where they take you and then from there you just kind of go with the vibe or go with the energy of what you're feeling mm -hmm. like if you don't like somebody on a first date that's it you, you don't have to make a big old scene about it or record it you don't gotta be disrespectful i it's think that's up. the biggest thing you don't have to be disrespectful and I think that is the biggest thing for me. Like, it's all about respect as well on that first date. And, you know, just be grateful. Like, too many of y'all out here feel like y'all deserve more than you do. You don't even treat yourself like that. Why you think somebody else going to treat Ooh. you like that? Like, come on. Expected too much. Yeah, expectations be crazy. And the person who made this list, again, I don't know who created it, man or woman, whatever the case. I wonder, if, are they in a relationship? Are they single? I'm sure they're single. <laughs> they sense. have to be single. <laughs>